the new marketing is knowing how to connect emotionally with the customer. The human being is emotional and always seeks new experiences, trends, etc. In a marketing context, emotions underlie decision-making. People make purchasing decisions unconsciously. Emotion can be a powerful source of marketing hypotheses. Marketing hypotheses, when validated through experimentation, can lead to a deeper understanding of the unconscious motivators of their clients. And with that knowledge, you can create marketing experiences that really resonate. First of all, it is important to know the different emotional systems that exist in the head of your client, how these systems interact in the brain and how they influence the purchases of fashion items. These systems include the stimulation system, whose objective is to discover new things, such as trends, novelties, etc. This part of the brain is triggered by novelty, curiosity, change, surprise, and emotion. This system avoids boredom but attracts new sensations. The domain system, which focuses on performance, self-assertion, suppression of competence and achievement of status, power, and autonomy. The desire of this system is pride or a feeling of belonging that belongs to a group of faithful of a brand. This is found in brands such as Burberry, Adidas, Nike, etc., brands that have positioned themselves very well in the minds of their consumers and have loyal brands, and that is why their public tends to have that feeling that they belong to a family or group of that brand. It is important to know the different emotional systems that exist in the head of your client. The balance system, which is motivated by risk avoidance and stability. This area can be triggered by fear and anxiety, but it is also associated with harmony and conformity, as it seeks safety. This is the purchases of fashion is reflected in loyalty and buying brands that influencers or other customers have a positive opinion of that brand. These people need these positive opinions or recommendations to take the step to buy, or also when they find that brand that suits what they want, they stay with it because they do not want to err when they change. Each emotional system is present in each one of us but to varying degrees. Most people are dominated by one of the three systems. How to create an emotional first impression. Have you ever met at a fashion store and thought, I like this? That happens when something has touched the fiber and we have fallen in love with the first impression. It can be by design, colors, text, images, etc., something has caused your wow effect. It is important to impact from the first second. Many experts say that this reaction of whether something you like or not happens in just one to three seconds. That is why it is important to impact from the first second since the user will not give us more time to show that he is in the right place. The following explains what elements can create that first emotional impression. Colors. Colors are the first thing you remember, and that means that if you want your brand to be memorable it is crucial to make a good choice of color. Colors are one of the most talked about aspects of marketing psychology. At the most basic level of color psychology, we know that certain tones evoke certain feelings. For example, blue is often associated with peace, relaxation, and trust. In contrast, yellow, the other primary color, is associated with creativity, optimism, and happiness. And red is associated with power, passion, and love, but it also incites anxiety. But the psychology of color is even deeper because the colors can vary within the tone. They can be clear or dark. They can be bright or dull. They can be warm or cold. Cold colors reduce arousal, while warm colors increase arousal. That's why red is associated with energetic emotions, while blue is associated with calmer emotions. Due to these nuances, the colors you use should be suitable for the experience. When the color wakes up, the brain's ability to rationalize decreases. When the color wakes up, the brain's ability to rationalize decreases. Therefore, it is more suitable to incite action. But this excitement also makes time seem slower. Therefore, if you have a longer checkout process, you can feel it even more if your design has warmer tones. Create texts that excite. Along with the visual elements of the design, an emotionally relevant text provokes an impulse in the user. So, what should a text have to make it exciting? Your offer includes tangible things, their characteristics, and benefits. But there are also intangibles, such as the history of the brand, the ability to make a connection. Things like trust and truth. For example, if you put in a text that 4,000 customers have already bought on your website, clearly this helps you trust more, 
and if you also put opinions of customers on the products, which are true, then the emotional conversion increases. To be understood, seeing this helps the brain to say that we are in the right place, that everything is correct and that we enjoy the purchase. It is clear that this text evokes security. Undoubtedly the video has an innate power to excite. Take advantage of the videos to create emotional connections. Undoubtedly, a video has an innate power to thrill, as long as it is done well. The videos are creative, funny, and even increase the curiosity to see what it is about. On the other hand, the brain is much easier to see a video than to read a text, that's why it attracts so much video. Usability Once a visitor connects with the overall appearance of their online store, they go on their website, click on their buttons and look for information. Is the information you are looking for available? Is navigation causing anxiety? The usability of your website is a component of behavioral design. If your website is really difficult to use, people will become frustrated and leave the website. It is very important that your website is usable, you can find everything easily, have good speed, leave all clear conditions, etc. Less time and effort to process information equals high processing fluidity equals more pleasant experience. When an experience is highly fluid, a client finds what he needs quickly and easily. When an experience is highly fluid, a client finds what he needs quickly and easily. Consider the experience that is being offered. Brand loyalty is created by giving your customers the feeling that they are important to you. There are many levels for this, from using the language with which they will connect to treating them as if they were important in social networks. Learn to listen. To connect emotionally with customers we must listen. It must be made clear that the opinion of the client matters and that will help to generate confidence. Also, when we listen, customers tell us what they need, in their words. Always do it personally if you want people to be excited about your fashion brand, you have to personalize it. What information would you share? How would you talk about your products? It is important that everything that is done is personalized because when they talk to us from you to you, and by our name, it causes a sense of closeness and that your brand cares about them. 